Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part 21 of my C++ video tutorial. This is the third and final part of my C++ regular expressions tutorial, and today we're going to talk about back references, substitutions, look ahead, or, and there's going to be many problems in this tutorial. Like always, all the commented code is available for free in the description, and if you haven't watched any of the previous tutorials, you probably should. Otherwise, you will be confused, and I have a lot to do, so let's get into it. All right, so here we are. Here's a whole bunch of libraries you can install. Of course, there's the regular expressions. We're going to be using the same print matches function we've been using since we started this. And you can pause your uh, video, of course, to copy that down and or get the code. And here is a rundown of all of the different little things that we have covered so far in the regular expressions tutorial, or at least a lot of it. All right, so let's go and let's start talking about back references. Now, basically, a back reference is going to allow you to reuse the expression that precedes it. So what I want to do is I'm just going to stick to my standard here. I'm going to go string one is equal to, and I'm going to put a double word inside of this string, and then I'm going to tell my program to go in and find any double words. So we have the cat here that is falling out of windows. And what else are we going to do? Uh, well, I want to create a regular expression that's going to grab any double words. So we can go and be a real quick way to sort of uh, fix something if there was, you know, duplicate typing of words. So what are we going to do here? I'm going to put my parentheses inside. And the very first thing I want to do is I want to match for a word boundary. And then I know that I'm going to have one or more characters inside of here. So I'm going to put a W with a plus for one or more. That is then going to be followed by a space, one or more, and then the one that I have inside here is going to be used to refer to the first match that is surrounded by our parentheses. So this guy right here, that is what we are looking for. So we're saying that this is going to match up with this. So I'm looking for that duplication that we would have in that situation. All right. So now we can go and output it. So all we have to do is go print matches and then pass in our string that we want to process and the regular expression we want to process and then we can run it and you're gonna see that it finds cat and prints cat out because cat matches this regular expression that we have right here so now what I want to do is I'm going to show you another back reference. But in this situation, I'm going to use what is called a back reference substitution because I'm going to go and replace what I have here, or replace a match. So I'm going to go in, get rid of this, and I'm going to create a tag. So I'm going to go h reference is equal to, and then a dollar sign, like we are used to if you ever program web pages. And I'm gonna have my bold tag inside of here. I'm gonna put the word, the link inside of here. And then I'm going to have a closing bold tag. And what I wanna do here is I want to get rid of the bold tags that are inside of here. So that's something that's kind of useful. So let's go in and let's just eliminate all of this stuff that we have here. And let's throw in some closing parentheses. All right, so what am I specifically looking for here? Well, I'm looking for my bold tags. So let's go and throw my bold tags inside of there. But I do not want to do anything with those bold tags other than get rid of them. So I'm going to go and say that there's stuff inside of there. Let's say maybe there's stuff inside of there. And then we're going to have our bold tags and there is the regular expression but this is the part that i'm specifically looking for so now what i want to do is i'm going to come in here and create a string that is going to hold our string so i'll go string and let's just call it result and then i'm going to use uh replace to make a copy of the original along with our replaced parts so I'm going to say standard regular expression, and I've used replace in previous parts of this tutorial. 
and I go standard back inserter and the back inserter is just going to insert the final results back into the result string. So I have to define that the, where it's going to go after it's done. And then I just go and use my string that I have here and start at the beginning of it through to the end of our string that we have here. And then the regular expression that we would like to be applied. And then I'm going to put dollar sign one inside of here, which is going to reference the sub, sub expression that's going to be surrounded with the parentheses. In other words, it's going to reference this guy right here. So let's get that and let's close that off. And then after we do that, we can just come in and we can get rid of print matches because it's not going to do anything. And we can go and output our new result that we have and throw a new line in there and da 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 and oops i forgot to name that regular expression to save it and run it again and now you can see that it went inside of there and it got rid of the bold tags that we were trying to get rid of so kind of neat stuff and just to um, drive this home i think i will go and do another back reference substitution example Okay, so for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a telephone number inside of here. And that telephone number, what I want to do is I want to set it up so that it puts parentheses around it. Okay, so let's go and get rid of that. What would be the regular expression we would use to do that? Well, I am going to just define exactly what's inside of there and then target the part that I want to get a hold of. So what are we going to have here? We're going to have some digits inside of here and we're going to have three of those digits and then we're going to put the closing parentheses. That's going to be something that I'm going to be grabbing. Then I'm going to put a dash. Then I'm going to want to grab the second part. So let's come in and let's get a hold of that and let's go and close the parentheses. Again, we're going to have three digits. And then we're not going to close the parentheses because we're going to grab these separately as two separate sub expressions. So now we know that there's going to be another set of digits, except in this situation, we're going to have four of them. And then we will now close the parentheses. And I went and changed uh, result to res3 just to go and have all these numbers be consistent. So res3, string3, string3, regular expression3, nothing else has changed except this one's going to change down here because this is going to be our final output. And what do I want to do? I'm going to put parentheses around the 4 and the 2. Well, I just put parentheses around the two expressions or the expression that we have, which is this one. That's going to be 1. And this one right here is going to be number 2. And then I can come in and I can go and get the second one just by putting dollar sign two inside of there and then changing this to res three save it and as long as i didn't type anything wrong you could see that i got my final result so pretty neat stuff and now we're going to move on to our first problem okay so here we have our string that we want to be manipulating this is two urls that we have here and the actual problem you have to solve is I want you to grab the URL and then provide the following output using back, back reference substitution, which we've already showed you. So you have these two guys. Special notice here, there's an S. There is no S in this situation. And what I want you to do is I want you to go in and I want you to convert them to these very specific links that we have right there. All right, and you're gonna use everything exactly the same as we've done in the last couple uh, examples that I've had here. So you can pause your video and go ahead and solve that. Otherwise, I'm going to solve it right now. So here is our regular expression that we wanna target, and I'm gonna go HTTPS, but I'm not 100% positive that we are going to have that S there, so I'm going to put a question mark down inside of there. And then I'm going to go colon and two forward slashes, and then I'm gonna grab this guy right here, which is going to be a bunch of uh, words. So I'll put a dot right there, and then I'm going to follow that up whoop, with a plus sign, and then I'm going to close off both of my parentheses. 
pretty simple stuff. Resource here, is, or result four is gonna hold that guy right there. We're gonna change this to four. We're gonna change this to four. We're gonna change this to four. Change that to four. And then I am going to have to output said information. So it's gonna be a little bit more complicated. Not really though. Uh, let's just go, go back here. And then inside of here, I'm gonna put all of the stuff that I want. So might as well just go and copy this right outwards. So I'll just copy that, paste that inside of there, and it's a matter of getting rid of the things we are going to pull out of our output. So I'm gonna go dollar sign and one like that, and then this guy is going to go away as well, and we're gonna put dollar sign and a two inside of there, and just to keep everything neat, let's go and throw a new line inside of there as well, change this to four, save it, and run it, and let's see if I did it right. And it looks like I did, but it's all messed up because I didn't have enough room, so let's run it again. And you can see right there that I went and I was able to get both of those values. You can also see the S is not showing right there for both of our links. So hopefully you were able to get that, but if you weren't, that is not a big deal. What we're gonna do now is talk about a new subject, which is look-aheads. Okay, so a look ahead, is, it basically what it does is it defines a pattern to match, but not return. And you define the expression to look for, but not return, like this. You're going to put a question mark inside of here, equal to, and whatever your expression is. All right, so what I'm going to do is just give you an example that will make a lot more sense. So let's say that we have some numbers inside of here. So one, two, three, and... Four. All right, so there is our string here. And what I wanna do, and pay particular note, there's a space there, and there is a space right there. Uh, what I wanna do is I do not want to return the word boundaries. I just want to return the word itself. So I'm gonna come in here and define our sub-expression. So we know we're gonna have a bunch of characters, one or more, and then I'm going to define what I want, but not what I don't, don't want to return, which is our word boundary like that. And then we close that off, all right? So everything that's inside of here is what will not be returned, and what I want is right there inside of those parentheses. So pretty simple stuff. And we have that set up already. So we can save it and run it. And you're gonna see that it cycles through and prints out each of those one by one. All right, so pretty simple explanation of a look ahead and how it works. And now what I wanna do is talk about the or conditional. All right, so with an or uh, conditional, you're going to define matches that you will accept. So what we can do, is let's say we have our a one dot and then a dog and then we have two and cat and three and turtle all right so those are defined inside of there and let's say that we will only accept dogs or cats as pets we don't like anything else so we're going to define the poor turtle all right so we're going to define our digits and then there is a period and then uh, there's going to be a space and then we say we will accept a dog or we will accept a cat as a result of that. All right, very simple. And you're gonna see that it goes in and it only returns dog. What did I do wrong? Oh, I see what I did. I just make, make that uppercase. All right, so save that. And now we will get both dog and cat. All right, so that's the or conditional. And now to finish off, I'm gonna hit you with two problems in a row. Okay, so for our first problem, what I want you to do is create a regular expression that will match for a five digit zip code. So it would match for that right there, or it's going to match for a five digit with a dash and then four digits, that one right there. So it's not gonna match for four numbers and it's not gonna match for five followed by three. So you can pause your video right now and try to solve it. Otherwise I will do it right now. Okay, so what are we gonna do? Well, we wanna grab all this information, so that means we're gonna put parentheses inside of there. We are then going to say that we expect to have a number of digits, which is going to be five based off of what I said, and then we're gonna have a dash, and then we're going to have another set of digits, which would be four in this situation, or we could have, and there's a couple different ways of doing this, I'm sort of forcing the use of the or statement, or we could have D 
followed by a five, and then we could have a, a space afterwards. All right, so we save it and run it. And there we go, that is our result. And that is using our conditional or. So that is also quite useful. Hopefully you got that right. Otherwise, I'm gonna move on to the next problem. All right, so for this problem, what I want you to do is I want you to find all of the following phone numbers and then print them. So that means you're gonna to have to make a regular expression that is gonna match for every single one of these numbers. We're going to say that every single one of them is a legitimate number and you have to create a regular expression that will work for all of them. So you can pause your video right now. Otherwise, I will do it for you right now. So what am I gonna do here? Well, there's a lot of things I'm gonna to have to define. So first off, we know that there could be a number one, but we don't know if there will be. So we will define that. Then we know that we are potentially going to have a dash inside of here. So I'm gonna go like this. And uh, you can also have the potential that there's no dash and instead there's a space. And then otherwise we might not have any of them. Okay, and then we're going to define that a parentheses could be inside of here. Uh, but there might not be a parentheses, an opening parentheses, that's what that's for. Then we're going to define that there is going to be three digits, and but there's always gonna be three digits, so we're not gonna put our question mark inside of there that time. Then we're going to have another series of parentheses, there could be a closing series of parentheses inside of here, and then we could have a dash after that, or, there's the or statement, we could have a dash, or we could have a space, or we could have ourselves a closing parentheses. And then we're gonna put in another parentheses after that, or we could have none of the above. Then we're going to have digits, which is gonna be a three, and then we're gonna close that off, and then we're gonna have another series right here, which is gonna be a dash or a space, and I'm starting to run out of screen real estate here now, because this is getting so complicated, and congratulations if you got this right, by the way, parentheses, or we could have none of those things once again, and then you're gonna have closing digits and uh, four, or, you could have closing digits, and there's gonna be four of those all the time, and then close off the parentheses. And I think I did that right. This is a very complicated one, and we can save it, and let's run it and see if it worked. And I don't know if it worked. I think it did. Let's run it again. F6, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. I got them all. All right, so pretty cool stuff, and you could easily go in there then and get rid of these extra spaces in there, no problem. All right, so hopefully if you got that right, congratulations, that was a very, very complicated regular expression. And if you wanna go and get a closer look at it because it was so extremely convoluted and crazy, the free uh, code's available in the description like always. So like always, please leave your questions and comments below. Otherwise, till next time.